So I got a new location for my soft tub, which I've now had for quite some time, a couple of years, I would say. Have to look back to the first video when I said I got a new soft tub. But it has been running well. It's winter, uh, approaching fall, and then going toward winter, which is the time I enjoy it the most. Uh, and I relocated it. So I thought, what would be the best video for this week? Hey, if you have a soft tub or are thinking about one, I'm just going to give you a few things, just really three, where you can place a soft tub. Almost anybody can get one and place it. It's very simple. First of all, a soft tub's round, it's soft, and it don't even require an electrician, as many normal standard hot tubs do. You don't have to spend $500 to have someone come out and wire you a uh, electrical outlet to plug it in. If you have electrical plugs in your house, you should be able to use a soft tub. So I'm going to go over a few of the things that you need to make sure and get a good location. And I think I have an excellent location. I'm right here by my swimming pool now. I got my soft tub over here it's great it's no longer uh, by the house which was nice because you could walk out and get in it on a cold day with it two steps so it's a little further now uh, but i uh, replaced that with a, a grill i got and i said let's just put this out here so the number one thing that you need to account for when it comes to installing the soft tub is of course level ground uh, you can't stress that more than enough. A level soft tub is best. And this is actually not 100% level. On the next drain, I'm going to do some uh, underground work where it's at and make sure it's near to 100% level at this location. Right now, it's uh, just a minute school, miniature amount off. Uh, not a real big deal, but try to get it as level as you can. So level grounds number one if you've got a level spot for the size of soft tub you have you can set it there and that part's fine but then what about electricity because you do have to plug it up so you're going to need an electrical outlet now you don't need any crazy electrician all you need is a 110 outlet and mine right here is plugged into the same outlet that my pool pump is plugged in and it's a gfci outlet don't worry if you don't have a GFCI outlet and are using a soft tub you don't need one because it has a built-in outlet on it uh, you'll see that uh, it's got a reset and test button on it so if it were to detect any moisture or threat uh, to swimmers or people around the pool of water in the soft tub it's going to automatically shut off uh, I do actually have a GFCI plug that it's plugged into and that's fine also I guess you could say it's double protected but it shouldn't really matter uh, because the GFCI outlet on the soft tub works fine which you don't find in many pull pumps I've never really seen it in any pull pump uh, you might sign it find a similar uh, type of device such as a hair dryer where you're next to water drying your hair uh, they may have uh, those on them where you can actually it'll shut off if it detects moisture to prevent electrocution to the user of that hair dryer. So number one, flat, get you a flat ground. Number two, a 110 outlet. And number three, you need to have that outlet about six feet away from each other. Now this is just for your most protection. You want to keep it far away so kids and other people cannot accidentally come in contact with the power plug. Um, it does state by most codes you need to be at least six to ten feet away and check your current code as it could vary. Uh, but you don't want to set like right here it's real level but I could touch the electrical outlet while actually sitting in the soft tub and that is not what you want as well. So make sure you have an area and the cord is going to be long enough which i've just moved this so i'm going to do something you can see this is six feet away and i have excess cord you could go eight feet 
and you would still be fine. I would have went a little further, but I've got a fire pit going on over here, and this was a level spot, and I like it right here. I actually like it here better than I did on the patio right next to the house. Um, this is where it will stay from now on, and you don't have to worry about if you are the uh, elements outside. So this is durable. It can withstand, it's like a tank. Uh, it can withstand rain, it can withstand, and a matter of fact, uh, the next time I have a storm, I will try to film it if I get a chance to where it's going. We had some crazy rain, last, what, three days ago? I mean, just sideways, it was blowing. There's, I think it was storms, a tornado or two around, just crazy. And this thing ran the whole time. Absolutely no problem, do not affect it. You can get snow. You can get snow coming up the sides of it. And when it snows, if it does, I'll have to get some of that as well to so show you that don't worry about the elements. That was one of the reasons I originally put it where I did because it was in a covered area, which still a covered area comes in handy uh, if you're wanting to get in it during a light rain or maybe a light snow or something. You don't really want it coming all on you. Um, that's still good to protect you but it, the soft tub don't really need it. Uh, it's out in the elements regardless, unless you have it completely in a closed indoor room. So uh, no issues with it being set in the wide open spaces. Just make sure you do those three things. So to recap, all you need is a level ground that's big enough for the soft tub you choose. They have models that are 120 gallon, to a little over 200, 220, 240 gallon, I think, and a 300 gallon. So it's gonna be bigger the one you choose, taller the one you choose. Make sure you have a big enough level area. You probably do, but you might need to do some modifications. Just level out an area and then uh, level, number one. Number two, an electrical outlet nearby within eight to ten feet a 110 outlet it don't have to be gp gfci certified because it has its own on the unit which is required for any pool or soft tub and number three just make sure it is six foot away uh, once you install it or a little bit more you don't want it to be too close you get those three things i don't know what else you need you plug it up, well, you need to be able to get a water hose. So number four, you need to be able to get water to this. So as long as you can drag a water hose from a faucet, ever how many feet you need, add water, plug it up, turn it on, you're ready to go. You will be able to fill it, install it, and enjoy it. So that's one of the reasons I got the soft tub in the first place. It doesn't require any electrician. It is ready to use. Well, this is Easy Clear Pool where we do mostly above ground swimming pool and soft tub information. I hope you have enjoyed this and subscribe to whatever platform you are watching this on via Rumble, via YouTube, and I will see you in the next video released every Thursday.